I've had a few questions on the channel about how to add color to your text box behind your text. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this tutorial. I actually just learned it myself. To start with, of course, we'll need some text. Now there's two different ways you can add type to your document. Press T for the type tool, that's the T icon over here in your toolbar. You can click and then start typing, or you can click and drag which depending on the version of Illustrator you're in might add in some dummy text, but we could also do, uh, I'm just gonna type in type tool right there. There's a difference between these two. This one created a text box. This one over here created what they call point type, which just means you have this type without a text box. We cannot change the color behind this because what we're really doing is changing the color of the text box and the color of the type separately. So if you wanna switch this to area type, you've got some text in your document already, you can double click this little icon here, or you can go up to type with that type selected and go to convert to area type, which basically means convert to being a text box. Okay, now that we've covered that, let's just type in here type tool, and I'm gonna get a nice bold font, Integra is what I'm using, or integral actually is what it's called. So we've got type tool in here. I can make sure it spans out like that. And what we're gonna do after I delete that one is just change the color of the text box behind our type. We need to switch to the direct selection tool. The shortcut key for that is A, it's the white arrow in your toolbar, and then click on one of these anchor points. That gets a direct selection of the text box itself. And you'll notice that now the Fill and the stroke options are geared toward the text box, which is currently just completely blank. So we can come over here or we can look in our properties panel on the right and we could double click or just click on the fill. I'm gonna select a yellow as the background and we could also add a stroke just so you see what that looks like. You could add a black line around the outside. You could also go into your stroke options and change a lot of these different settings like aligning the stroke to the inside, the outside or the middle creating a dashed line, et cetera, depending on how you want that to look. I'm gonna just get rid of this stroke, maybe just make a zero point, it'll slash that out. So we've got a yellow background, but this doesn't look very good yet. The type goes directly to the edge. So if you wanna really center this type inside of your text box, we need to look at the options. I'm going back to the regular selection tool so I can still edit this text box size maybe bring it down like this, and I wanna get this type centered in here. The first thing that I can do is look at my paragraph options. If you don't have those, go up to window, down to, well actually it's gonna be in type, way down here, and then you're gonna find paragraph, that'll pop open the panel. These three dots on any of these in the properties panel will expand this if you need to find more uh, detail to edit or change. Now we can align this to the center, so we took care of the left and right alignment. The other thing that we can do, depend, you know, this really kind of depends. You can do an inset on your text and that might be more for if you have a text box that's full of text like this and you change the color and you click the anchor and let's go to fill, we're gonna go to yellow really quick. So I'm gonna show you on this here, the inset option. On this one, we'll center it with other options. So the inset option basically gives you margins to your text box. So if we go up to type and we go to area type options, that's gonna pull open this panel. Now we have this text box selected on the right hand side. We see offset right here, inset spacing. We can increase this and that basically increases and if you hold shift while you do it or you just put in whatever type, uh, whatever number you want here, but it increases the margin of our text box. You see that? Now the text kind of has its own area inside of the text box, which in my opinion, and if you don't see this change while you're doing it, make sure you have preview selected. But in my opinion, this looks much more professional. And of course I wouldn't have this type be as bold and stuff. But if you have a block of text that you want inside a text box like that, and you notice that the text goes outside the bounds of the text box. So what we could do is just increase that size and the margin stays right there with it. So that's a way to, I, I think that's important to know with the area type options. But back over here, if we wanna center this guy on this text box, I would start by centering this paragraph right here. And then you can think about a couple different things. I mean, you could left align it, go up to type, go to area type options and do the same thing we just did. So we could do this inset like this. 
But depending on where the baseline is, and we could always adjust the baseline options here, it just really, really depends on where the baseline of your text and the font is on how you want to center this. Because you know, if you want to change the size of this text box, it doesn't flow with it at all. You would have to go in and resize that, and you might not match the width here if you want the height to be taller. There's a lot of different things here, but I just want to show you the options. So the inset option, you guys know that one. So I'm going to undo it. The other thing that you could do here is <laughs> the first thing we did. Sorry, guys. We got off track, but I wanted to show you all this. So we could align it back to the center. So that takes care of left and right, top and bottom. We could actually open up these options for the character, and we could we could use this right here which is basically setting, it's a baseline shift. So we're taking this baseline and we're moving it up and down. So we could move it down just like that. And you could fit it in there visually uh, and you could measure it with another rectangle. If you, if you really wanted to, you could measure this here, take a rectangle, duplicate it holding option and shift and put, pull it down here. You could do that to measure the spacing as well. But that's a way to quickly bump down your characters using this baseline shift option. If you wanted to create something like this, which you probably see on the thumbnail of this video. So here's two options to adjust both the fill and the stroke of your text boxes here in Adobe Illustrator.